Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. Initially, this would have been one long video, but I've broken it up into two parts. The first part that we're going to discuss right now, this will be for the component tree in Next.js slash React, how React actually works with the tree. And in the next one, we will deal with the multiple layouts that we're going to create. So if you understand this part, the next part will make a little bit more sense why I do what I do. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got a home page and a bound page. I'm going to make this very simple. So let's quickly go to our pages folder and just create a new file and call this one about.js. Now, I said I want you guys to delve a little bit deeper to the advanced things of next year is so you can learn a little bit more. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to say about. Let me just do about. Okay, so there. And I just want to make sure I put this as about page as well. Now in our nav bar, so let's go to our nav in here. I'm just going to change this to about. Okay, so now what will happen? So I can click right there. As you can see, there's no refreshing happening because everything is instant for you and it basically changes it for you. But how does this all happen? And that's what I'm going to explain to you now. Okay, so we've got our bound page. So we've got our index right here. So this will be a little bit of a shortish video. Okay, so in our index page right here, so if we click on the about, this is what we're going to see. But all of this too is going to go through another component in our app.js file. So this is our main component where everything goes through. All right. So as you can see, this component with its props go between our layout right there. Okay. So if we go to the about homepage, let's say on our homepage, that's a component that gets basically rendered right there and it's getting between these two the moment i go to the about page this is the component that gets rendered right there but all of those pages go through this component okay so how does the tech tree look like uh, basically the component tree pardon me for saying tech tree right so let's just quickly do that so let's just create a uh, comment so in here what the first thing that we will see we will see an app Right, so that's the main component, okay? So in here, right, so in that we have our layout. Inside our layout, we have our home component. So if we just say home, then inside that we will have our content. Okay, so let me just put that. Okay, so what React will do, the moment I click on the About page, React is going to go, so if I... I'm clicking so that I can go to this page. The act is going to go. It's going to check this. You say, okay, no, everything is still the same. It's going to compare it between these two. Okay, everything is fine. So I don't need to change that. Then it's going to go to the layout. And it's going to see, okay, the layout is still the same. It doesn't need to change anything. But the moment it gets to this point right here, the about page, it will say, okay, now these two clash. What must it be? This is the new one. Then it will swap this about with this part right here okay so that means any content between these two is going to be discarded does not going to look at it it's just going to change it to this component right there okay so you understand that part so if i click on this that's what it will do okay so now if i go back to the home page right here so if i go back to the home page it's going to go it says okay compare the two so app and app is still fine layout and layout is still fine and then as soon as it gets to the home, it will see, okay, the home is different. So it will swap the about with the home page right there. Okay, so that's the only content it needs to change. And that's why we only see this part at the bottom change, actually. Just that part is actually changing. Okay. But now here comes the problem. So if we go to our app.js, because as you can see, we've got our layout right here. Now, let's say we decide we don't want our layout to be in here. We want our layout to be in the pages. Okay, so let's do that. So let's put in our layouts in here. So I'm just going to remove the S. That's not supposed to be an S, but let's do it like that. Wow, everything still works quite nice. Okay, as you can see. We view the layout right there. Let's go to the about page. As you can see, the layout is not there. But now let's just change this to a layout again. All right? You will see. Save this and just remove this part right there. As you can see, if I refresh the page, 
you can see the layout doesn't change at all. Everything works quite nicely. But the problem that we have is here it comes. So now what will happen with our tech tree? It will change from the app. Now the layout, just remember, the layout is not here anymore. Now the layout will move down a bit. Okay. To this point right here. So as you can see, so if I move this up, all right, so now I'm currently on the About page. Let me click on that. So on the About page, now what will happen is it will go to the, and let's say we're on the About, or we're going to go to the Home page. So if I click on the Home page, it will go to the Home page, okay? And then it will check the app, and check the app. Okay, nothing changed. I don't need to worry about anything. But now you will see the problem. As soon as I go to the Home page, and I go here, it says, okay, this are different. Let's change it. So what will happen now is it will discard anything on the inside. So that means our layup is caught in, in that fight to that or that mess that is happening there right now. So it's not persistent. So what will happen now? Our layout have to be remounted again when our components are re-rendered. Okay, so it will basically discard whatever is between these two tags. So everything it doesn't care what's on the inside of that, and it will just swap the components around. And now you will say why this is necessary. Why why even bother if it works? But now the problem that you will have is sometimes this can shift if you have nav bars or scrolls or positions or anything like that. This can have an influence on that. And this is not the ideal way to do it. That's why if you have a single layout, the best thing to do is to put the layout in here. Okay. This next best thing is if you have multiple layouts, which I will show you in the next episode, how to do that and how to actually mount it correctly so that you don't have any other issues because I'm not actually showing you any of the issues that you might have, but trust me on that, that that will happen with like nav bars and all the other fun kind of things. All right, so hopefully you find this video a bit useful so that you understand what we're going to do in the next episode. As you can see, it's already almost seven minutes of your time. So hopefully it's not a wasted time. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.